Okay, so time for some Abinogi. And actually, I need to repair those knuckles soon. But today we're going to be working on getting our Grandmaster Construct Alchemist. Which is the last thing I can currently take to Grandmaster rank. I need to master a few life talents next. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have, uh... Okay. Let's have this check off the second mission. And then the first mission... Okay, so there's all three. So what do we have? Defeat 50 golems, 4 player shadow mission, Guardian of Avon on hard mode. Okay, all of these are possible. So let's start with the most difficult, which is the 4 player shadow mission. up. Charge this and fire.
There we go. And now for this one. some MP. MP again.
I already take out like all these. Okay, let's use that. Now let's use final hit. Okay, it's over now. So that's it for the four player Grandmaster mission. So for killing 50 golems, we should go to the Tara Shadow Altar and do the other Alchemist's Shadow Mission.
The other alchemist has a lot of golems in it. What kind of passes do I have? Uh, as far as I can tell, I don't have any funds for shadow missions. Okay. We'll go ahead and do the mission on hard mode. And then we'll summon up a doll bag too. That way we can make some money off of it. Next area. The renovation season four will fix that spell lock thing. It'll make it so when you go through like a door or a teleport area, the uh, spell lock won't just turn off. It'll stay active. So that'll be kind of nice. Won't have to reactivate it all the time. Okay, 26. So we're a little bit more than halfway done with that one. Oh, 
Okay, another one of these rooms. Okay, so this room next. And let's exit. Okay, yeah, that's 50 golems. And now let's go to Avon. So we have the Guardian of Avon mission to do.
Okay, so we're gonna wanna unequip this for a second, and then after this we'll repair my gear. How's the other stuff doing? Okay, my armor looks like it's doing fine. So I need to equip the cylinder. Wait, how many pages do we have? 25, oh, and then a stack of 50 here. Okay, so we're good to go. Okay, rainmaking. Come on, there's a 91% success rate. There we go, we got it right away, that's good. The last time I tried crafting one of these, it was... very picky about giving me the one I needed. Okay, this one's junk. Let's go and put that back up there. And then equip that. Okay, so snow trolls.
Okay, now for the boss. We can usually one-shot the boss with Meteor. There we go. Okay, let's repair all this. It'll cost most of the gold I have, but that's fine. And then back to Tara Castle. So we got three seals for Construct Alchemy today, and we had one from the last time, so now we have four out of ten. That's really good. Oh, and let's put these pumpkin seeds in a pet inventory. Because then Xenified Neko can plant them on their homestead. Alright, really quick, I will be right back while I switch to Zenified Neko, and then we're going to work on 
going after a few more transformations. Hopefully we'll work on the glowing transformations today. And then we'll do some commerce. Okay, so let's take a look at the glowing transformations and figure out what we can do. So we need five points on glowing stone imps, three more points on glowing stone hounds, and we need three on glowing stone zombies. And we also need to use... Like we have a few gargoyle statues left. So we also need to get king slates from the maze ruins and the glowing gargoyle dungeon. Because we're a few points short on that. So we can get three out of five points on imps and one on zombies. Okay, let's see if we can find any glowing stone hound statues. Hey, this is great. We need exactly three more points on that transformation, and there are exactly three more of these here. So I'm going to take all of them. So we can finish that one today. And what about glowing stone imp? Mm, that's kind of pricey. Let's wait a while on that one. Um, what was the other one? Glowing stone zombie? Alright, we'll pay to get that one. Oh wait, did I claim them? Did I claim them?
And we need two more points on King Slates. Let's go ahead and get King Slates first, I think. Just get them out of the way. So, mana tunnels, human mark mana tunnel. And where's Maze Dungeon? Okay, Maze Dungeon isn't too far off. So we'll just call this party Glowing Transformations. I forget, is Zenified Neko a Master Adventurer yet? Oh yeah, he is. I should get Xanified Neko a demonic dream catcher, actually. What makes a demonic dream catcher better than a, than the dream catcher blossoming memories is you can actually equip. Oh, there are king slates here. Hang on. With a demonic dreamcatcher, you can actually like enchant it, and you can actually reforge it too. But you can't reforge the you can't reforge or enchant the dreamcatcher blossoming memories, which is kind of a shame. Okay, pull this down here. Okay, one more point to go on King Slates. I'm not sure how fast or slow this will go. We might be done with the King Slates in two minutes or 20 minutes. Okay, Queen Slates. I think I already collected the queen ones. Okay, this is just an empty room. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, come on, just a few more king slates. No, queen slates and some zombies. It looks like we already have the boss key. Okay, we only have one glowing stone gargoyle left. I really don't want to have to get another one. So let's open this chest and go ahead and gather that gold. There we go. Let's go ahead and use our last glowing stone gargoyle since apparently we need it. Come on, let's get that last point. I'm fine with it because I have like an extra one, but I really hope I get the point this time. Be kind of annoying if I don't, because I have to go through the trouble of getting another glowing stone gargoyle. Okay, there we go. Now we're finished. the dungeon at way down there huh I guess we'll finish up glowing stone hound first since we have all the statues we need to finish collecting all the points on the transformations anyway So that means we're going to run Karu Dungeon at least three times today. Maybe more. I'm not sure. Oh, one of the hounds is in this bag. Yeah, let's get the points. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, we have to... The glowing monsters are all the way in the boss room. Oh, there's one more right here. There we go. Oh yeah, and we have these speed potions too. These are good for a little over two days. We'll go ahead and use those.
Okay, floor two. Alright, floor three. that way. Let's go this way then.
Okay, floor four is it? Let's see. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh...
M45. So this is a five floor dungeon, jeez. And since we have three points to go on the thing, that means we're gonna have to run 15 floors total. That's a lot.
Okay, there's the boss key. And the boss room, great. Let's go in here. And let's set the finish rule to anyone in the party. Okay, so there's our third point on Stonehounds. So two more runs to go. Let's go ahead and open this chest. And let's change the finish roll back to the biggest contributor before I forget. Alright, really quick, I'll be right back and then we'll start our second dungeon run.
Okay, let's begin our second run in Karu. Sack these roulette coins really quick. Oh, so maybe we need to go back this way and then take that turn. Yeah.
Oh, there are the stairs. Okay, floor two. Floor three.
Okay, here's the key. And downstairs. So is this floor four or five? Currently on floor four. Okay, yeah, so two more floors. Yeah, so floor two and four are short. And one, three, and five are the long floors. So now we're on floor five.
<sighs> Man, this is tiring. Going after the stone hound. I might not go after that last glowing stone hound point today. I might just do commerce after this. I might just go after the last point on Wednesday. Finally, there's the boss key. Okay, let's change the rules in the party to anyone in the party. There's our point. Yeah, we're not gonna go after that last glowing stone hound point today. We'll go after it on Wednesday. <sighs> I'm really, really bored of running this dungeon. If it was three floors instead of five, maybe I would go after all of them today, but... This is so... This is such a long grind. How much summon time does that doll bag have left? We've had it out for a while. Okay, it still has about an hour left.
Okay, so commerce. Let's take a look. We got our core rating to seven. Quillow rating is at six. Let's work on our Quillow rating. Our Quillow rating is at 82.1%. And once we get up one more level, we'll be able to access all the goods in Quilla. So that's kind of important. And then maybe after that, I'll work on my Cobb one. <sighs> Put that over here and take this out. And then let's go to... Well, the base camp. Okay, really quick, I will be right back, and then we'll start doing some commerce from Quilla until we get it up a rank. I think it's only going to take, like, maybe two commerce rounds. Maybe three. It might take three.
Okay, so let's get to commerce. Summon the alpaca. And yeah, once we get our trade rank to level 7 here, we'll have access to this item as well. But for now, we'll take mint chocolate powder and we'll go to... Oh, that doesn't sell for much in Cobb right now. I mean, uh, how much does it go for in Core? Core, it sells for 15. Let's take it to Philia. Uh, do we have to work on my Philia rank 2? Let me check. No, Philly is rank 7. Bills is 7. 4 is 7. So we're just wrapping up our merchant rating for... Quilla then. I did equip those knuckles, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's switch to our magic build. This is mana tunnel. No, wait a minute, not here. That leads into a... Okay, we need to go a little bit further. This way leads into the desert. Yeah, I think it'll take like two or three commerce rounds to get our commerce rating up in Quilla. That might honestly be all we have time for today, too. I'm not sure. Because, like, a commerce round all the way to Quilla, I mean, all the way to Philia or Core. would take a commerce round all the way to Philia or four would take about 20 minutes maybe well 15 yeah I don't know we'll see we may only have enough time for two or three it is quite the distance
Okay, about to enter Karu Forest. Let's find a bridge. Doesn't take too long to get through this forest. Okay, there's no bridges over here. Come on, there has to be at least one bridge assembled. If there is not, that'll be really annoying. I'm sure there's at least one somewhere. There we go. That's one we'll use. And there's another one over there too. Good. Okay, now we're entering the Longa Desert and enter and exiting the uh, Nares Plateau. The good news is we haven't actually ran into any bandits yet. We've been seeing them around, but we haven't been uh, fighting them. safe distance from that one. Go around. There we go.
Uh, speed walk potion is wearing off. Oh, let's just go ahead and quit that party. And we'll go ahead and use those. <sighs> well, let's use a reduction candy too. We have a lot of those. Okay, we're near the Philia Commerce Outpost. Wow, there was someone outside the post at Quill, and there's player outside this outpost too, that's good. I'm glad to see the game is still... still has a lot of players around. Okay, let's go ahead and sell all that. So where's our commerce thing at now? Eighty. Okay, it was like an 82 something. 
or 81.2, something like that. So, yeah, it'll, it'll probably take two more times. Let's go ahead and head back to, uh... Well, uh... Uh, mint chocolate powder goes for, yes. Yeah, oh wow, there's not much sock left. That's what the problem is. We'll buy those two. When does the ship leave? If the ship time is short, I will go to Cobb. If we have to wait like a really long time, I won't. No, we'd have to wait around for a long time. We're not doing that. Like... It's gonna be another 10 minutes just before the ship leaves the port. All right, I guess we're going back to Philia. Is this Quilla is close to the same distance as Core Villages anyway? And... Might be a little bit further. And like, taking it to Vales would be a much longer trip.
Okay, there's a bridge. That's the bridge we used last time. To get across. And let's go this way. I think... I think we might, like, once we reach Philia, we might just, like, do some commerce thing from Cobb, and we'll finish up the last commerce round from Quilla uh, on Wednesday, probably, because this route is so long. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, we do have the quest. I was wondering if we had this quest or not. Eventually, I need to um, find lightning sprites and use lightning bolt on them. This requirement here is hit like the black dragon with uh, thunder 30 times. This, is, this quest is to learn lightning rod. One day I need to get that done. Maybe sometime this week we'll work on that. Getting some of those requirements filled. Maybe Wednesday or Thursday I'll focus on getting those lightning sprites. 
I'm pretty sure they're just in normal mode in Coil Dungeon. So you could just go to Coil, find a couple. Okay, we're almost to the commerce post. Won't be too much longer now. Okay, there it is. And then after that, let's go to Cobb and do a little bit of commerce from there, like maybe one, two runs, something like that. Yeah, 97.5, so we're basically done, but another commerce run from Quilla anywhere else would take a really long time. Unless the ship time is really short, which we can check, I guess. Let's go to... Will a base camp? Bit of Henry, thanks for the follow. Yeah, we'll do one commerce round from Cobb before we wrap things up, but let's see how. Maybe we'll go from Quilla to Cobb if the ship time is short enough. Let's check it really quick. We might be in luck. I have to hurry though. Because we have like half a minute left before the ship leaves. Don't leave yet, ship. Oh, come on, come on, make it on time. Don't, what? It, it's, I still have like a couple seconds left before it departs. Oh, that sucks. We just missed it. Great. I was really counting on making that ship. Okay, well, we have two options then. No, I don't feel like doing a big old area run, so we'll... We'll just cut our losses there and then just go to Cobb then. That's too bad. Okay, Port Cobb, Lighthouse.
I think we'll make one trip from Cobb to Bangor. Okay, some of the alpaca, and let's get started. So that seaweed will go for... 28 in Bangor, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's just go ahead and run it over there real quick. So Cobb is at like six. Okay. There's a little bit of work to do from Cobb. We'll fight this bandit, we have enough time. Bangor. Let's go ahead and use one of those uh, letters of guarantee really quick. Okay, there we go. So today was a pretty good day in Mabinogi. We got two points on Glowing Stone Hounds, and we also finished collecting the last points on the King Slate Transformation. So I think on Wednesday we're going to maybe look into working on that lightning rod quest and finishing up glowing stone hounds at least since we need one more point on them and uh 
Maybe go after uh, another transformation too, and then we'll do commerce. So I will be streaming Mabinogi again on Wednesday, and I will be streaming Sardu Valley tomorrow.